Hi guys, it's MC from Not Just Scrapbooks, and I wish you all a nice evening and a happy weekend. I finished outside of my box, so I thought I would share that with you today. And you've seen the outside uh, after it was originally painted, and I've done quite a few different coats of stuff on top of it since then. This is probably the way it was, or close to it. I added some pink and some brown here after I showed it to you, I think. Um, I did contact um, Ranger about the problem with the Distress Crackle paint and the fact that even though it had never been opened, it was still in its plastic wrap. It had dried out. Uh, I messaged them privately on Facebook, and uh, they suggested that I email customer service. And so I will do that and see what happens. Um, like I mentioned in my previous video, uh, unopened Distress Crackle paints were almost completely dry. I added water and I got a little bit out of it, but they're so thick that they're, you know, they won't spread. So um, anyway, so I did get some of it down, but it wasn't the way it should have been. Though I must say that I do like the final product. Um, it looks really, really distressed, as you can see here. So I have a coat of gess white gesso. I have a coat of uh, sort of a beige paint that I mixed with white, just acrylic. I have a coat of antique linen mixed. No, actually, it's not antique linen. When I first tried to get... At my box to have it crackle, um, I tried my tattered straw. That's when I found that, that it was dry, completely dry. And my white wasn't quite as bad, but it wasn't marvelous either. I, I did add water, like I said before, and I got it to work just a little bit, but it wasn't terrific. So the next thing I tried is I had old bottles of, um, I think it's Crafter's Pick, and they were pretty old. It's by the Adhesive Products, Inc. Um, and I had a crackle top and a crackle base coat. And so I applied that at that evening after um, doing the video in the hopes of having something show up. And that did not work either. So my next move was to just open two more jars of Distress paint. And again, both of them were pretty dry. Um, I spritzed them with water and I, instead of trying to spread them, I just put them on the corners that I knew were going to be exposed and a little bit like on the corners of the box here um, so that I would get at least some effect. And I kind of, you know, like the bits that did work. You can see that it's all crackled here. Okay, uh, so then what I did is I found this picture, and this picture comes from an Etsy vendor called Graphic Marketplace, and she has absolutely beautiful graphics. I will put a link to her at the bottom in the description box, because you really should go see if you, you're into this kind of project. She has a lot of beautiful graphics. Um, let me see. The lace is vintage lace that I found uh, during my trip at the antique mall in Ohio. And I got a little, quite a bit of it. And so whoever is getting this box, and I'm not going to say who, um, is going to get some of this vintage lace as well. And um, let me see here. The little chair came looking like this uh, from MB's Treasury Stuff. And um, I painted it up and gave it gold wings and sort of uh, brownish gold hair. Uh, I used my Spectrum Noir pens on the body, the face, and the hair. And then I thought it, it, I had never, I had not opened this. And you can see the, the this silver side isn't even open yet. But, oh my gosh, this is a beautiful, beautiful paint pen. Um, if the silver is anything like the gold, uh, it's going to be wonderful. And here is what I painted. I painted the wings, and I 
did leave a little bit of, you know, I wanted them to look a little bit distressed so they're not like, I didn't go three coats on them or anything. I just did one coat so that it would have a hint. And then I actually painted the silver soft um, hardware that I had taken off. And I put a coat of gold on there because the box is gold. And believe it or not, just because I'm really crazy, um, I painted my half back pearls individually and the string in between one by one with this as well. And it did a beautiful, beautiful job. So, uh, yeah, and I did this bead as well. Now my, um, this obviously is a Tim Holtz. Uh, it says dream as if you'll live forever. And then um, I believe these are spare parts. And then I made some stick pins. I put some stick pins on here. And I made this with the same lace. I just gathered it in the middle and then put the flower, which is a Prima flower. Uh, I'm pretty sure it came from that. They might even both have come from this one. Um, it's Acadian Collection Rosie from, um, I think this was 20, 2011. So they were in the stash. And then this flower here was uh, a very light, sort of a very light, light, light pink. And um, sort of a yellowish... And I used my Lindy's uh, spray on this to get it the color I wanted. And I used my Spectrum Noir pen on the flower to get it a tiny bit pinker because I didn't want it to stick out just a little bit and have a hint of the colors of the butterfly and the rose. Now, I had this braid and braided Chinese braid trim in my stash. And... This is all I have. Uh, no, I don't. I have a little bit left of this, but not much. Uh, maybe like a piece like this. So uh, hopefully I can get some more. And then I found this in my stash. And uh, hopefully I can get more of that because I think it really, really did a cool job. And I want to make a couple more boxes. And I like the idea of using this at the bottom. I think it's cute. So basically. And as you can see, this looks really gold, but it started off silver. So that's all the pen. I I don't know how if it's going to hold up, but you know this isn't really a box that's meant to go be open like every uh, every day and played with. And even if you did it, you'd be opening it by putting your nail underneath here. So, and the inside of the box is still just a paint job. And I have no idea whether I'm going to line it, just put pretty things in there, or what I'm going to do with it, but I will come up with something. So anyway, this is my shabby chic box, and I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.